I uh, lost two on Southampton. I've got Harry here. He's a negative on a good day. So, uh, how do you feel, Harry? I'm deflated. I'm absolutely deflated. Um, so, the past three games, we've thrown away leads. I saw some statistic, I think, yesterday, saying we've given up 17 points from losing positions. Now, it's, I guess it's 20, yeah? And we've gained 19 from winning, so it kind of evens itself out, I guess, now. But... What do you think was responsible for uh, the kind of lack of energy out there today? This is a mentality. Uh, it's like, so we drew to West Brom and then obviously they were on their feet. And then we go to Chelsea and we decide to stop playing football at 2-0 up. I, 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 some of the challenges that game, I don't even want to talk about. Okay, but what about today? What did you feel was responsible? You say the mentality, but what do you mean? Okay. I'm kind of lost for words. So for me, for me, for me, uh, I think I think the reality is, if you take two of the best players in the league out of your team, you're gonna struggle. Like Deli Ali, Musa Dembele not playing today, you know, and it showed. So is it about the squad depth? Is that the issue? Well, yeah, I said it on the last one. I think there's nothing on the bench. There's really is nothing there on the bench. Like. <laughs> You look at our bench compared to Southampton today, it's going to sound very harsh, but I think they had more game changers on their bench than we did. I mean, Chadley came on, I was, I was literally like, he's like putting a statue on the pitch. He does nothing. And, and Jai, I'm not criticising, right? Because I think in a couple of years, he's probably really good, but he's so, you know, he hasn't played, he's so raw, he hasn't played in ages. He's not the kind of player you bring on if you want him in the game. Uh, it's just... When at 1-1 one, one, there was nothing, there was, there was no game changers and we just looked deflated. When, once they scored, it was just, it felt inevitable. And this week, everyone's talking about, oh, it's going to be party atmosphere. I mean, look, everyone's walking out the ground now. We were meant to stay from some 360 degree photo or something for eight minutes. And you're supposed to win the game. Don't we want to finish above Arsenal? Don't we want to? No, I know, I do, I, I do feel they want to. I don't feel it's a mentality thing because obviously that's not like we're trying to lose the game. But there was just not as much energy and drive and potentially, I think, without Ali and Dembele, not as much belief that they had what it took to, to score the second or third goal. Mm, I know, but the past two games we threw away leads as well. And Dembele was playing in both of them, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So it can't just be because XX and X player wasn't playing. Well, I, the other thing I'd say is I thought Southampton played really well. Their shape was fantastic. They never let us get in behind even once. And we got frustrated. Yeah, I, I agree. Like they, they came with a game plan, sit back, play deep, but don't doesn't every team come here to do that now? And we kept getting done, like they'll play it down wide and then they'll play this like inside through ball and we get done every time. Like, I, I didn't I didn't want to come to the last game of White Hart Lane at full capacity and lose. I want us to to come and finish you know, 'cause cause now I'm gonna go have to go home and watch the Arsenal City game and sit there biting my fingernails because if they win that uh, like it's just the same old Tottenham. Like, well, not, we not not really. If we win next week, we still come second. Can we not end this hoodoo? Not honestly. But Newcastle away is a tough game. I know they might be down, but it's not like they're going to just lie down. We lo we lost to them okay. at home. Okay, okay. Let us know what you thought of Harry's comments in the comments box. Obviously, there's a bit of a feeling of of depression here, but. It's still in our hands. That's the important thing, guys. Let us know what you thought in the comments box. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter. At Spell on TV. Cheers, Harry. Try and get home safe.